What's up, guys? Welcome back to Back Road Driver. We're the Miser Brothers. Hey, this is build video number five for our 96 Bronco, the Juice. And today, it's paint day. It's looking good. So we've already got the work done. We filmed everything as we went along. The only thing we missed was a little bit of when they were spraying things on. They did that over the weekend. But we're going to show you the process of how we took all the rust out, all the little split panels, all the little places where paint was chipped off, door dings, like all that stuff got removed in this in this video. The thing looks awesome now, and we're gonna show you every bit of it through the process and the completed product. Go ahead and hit subscribe, guys. Give us a thumbs up on this video. You're gonna wanna watch all the videos in this playlist, so go back if you haven't seen them yet and check those out. All right, so it's a little dirty right now, but I'm gonna walk through and point out some of the spots out. It's got a little shot peen here. Been Looks like a BB gun. BB gun on the same panel. Got a little nick here, a little nick down here. That looks like a little rock chip. Big problem, and it's very common on these 96, or I guess 92 to 96. This right here breaks and cracks out, and it's, you know, it's bad all the way through in the seam. So we bought this piece to be able to have them weld this in right here and uh, clean this up. So they'll probably pick a seam somewhere different than all the way up here though. I've also got one for the back here. Um, we've got rust here, a little rust at this light, and then this bumper has gotten into the fender. So we've got this piece that will go get welded on and clean this whole thing up. So most of that's gonna get painted. The bumper is pretty much trash. It's warped, uh, this side's down, that side's up, so like, and I think this is obviously a, a remanufactured bumper as well, so it's like not even the original. Around here on the back, we've got a big bang in right here, so this will get fixed. And then right here where the tailgate pinches, got a lot of rust and a little separation right there, so that's pretty bad. We may end up having to have a new tailgate before it's over. This side's pretty good. There's, you can tell where it's been fanned in with paint from time to time, but. Guys, we're trying to get this, the body straight and looking good. We're not concerned about an A++ paint job that's, you know, show quality, ready to go. You've got all kinds of little stuff where the uh, glue, I guess, is separated and the caulking is separated and it looks like trash. On the drip line up here, yeah, it's... It looks bad. We're not trying to fix every little thing like that. Um, last big knock right here in this front fender, that's knocked in. So we'll try to get that pulled out, get that looking good. So that panel will get painted. The hood looks a little trashy. If you'll remember, we looks did a- pretty good, but we got- It's like somebody welded over the top of it. Um, we did a good buff and polish job and it is dirty right now. If we wrap this whole vehicle, we're gonna want it to look good with a wrap on it. You're not gonna wanna see all these little dings and nick ends because then we just covered up a turd. And we're gonna want it to look good when we get done. Um, the top on the back, I want to show you that real quick. So this is some type of resin material and it's got a texture to it. We may talk about being able to sand that down and get it smooth, put a new slick gloss paint job on it so that it is white on white if you ever take that wrap off. But we may want to wrap our top a different color than what we wrap the body for some kind of funky two-tone paint job. So. It's going to get all this stuff fixed. Um, I want to show you what we're going to be back on as soon as we get back from paint because we got a slew of parts here, slew of parts coming. We haven't even addressed the 4x4 system yet, which we're basically totally redoing on this. It's going to have different gearing. Um, so all that's going to get better, stronger. Steering's getting a lot of upgrades, but I want to show you some of the interior stuff we've already got in the house. We got parts, man. We've got all kinds of interior carpeting, Brand new front and rear, all that good stuff, including the tailgate. Um, we've got tons of sound deadening material, um, including this good top here. We're gonna put that down and then we're gonna go with a little thicker stuff. We've got new door seals, we've got new tailgate seals. Um, we've got a new steering gear. We've got a new steering shaft. Um, We've got a lot going on here, guys. We got a ton more coming. Might have some seats. You guys want to see those? We got tons of work coming on the inside of this thing as soon as we get the outside taken care of. Day one. They've already got the patch panel in. We didn't get over here to see any welding because these boys are moving. And you can see here in the back on this back patch panel, 
the, you can see the black down at the bottom they got that in and in the back they've already started grinding down we've decided to take out this uh, spare tire bracket holes so we're going to fill those in with fiberglass you'll see that in day two and they'll bondo over after the fiberglass so day two a lot more refined just kind of getting things figured out as far as where the line's going to be when we open here you can see this thing is pretty grimy they uh, are going to grind all this out they're going to add extra metal because our patch panel didn't fit up perfectly in the back here they're starting to pull the dent out the very back they've already put that fiberglass in now they're bondoing over so these holes are going to um, be nice and slick when we get done here in just a second for you guys and then you can tell where they're already starting to grind down and work on the split tailgate piece that thing looks beautiful when we get finished but these cleaned up holes we'll probably put a spare on a, a new bumper but we didn't need them on the vehicle working down the side here you can see these little door dings when i go back and forth with the camera we've decided to get those taken care of getting a little closer picking up some of the smaller spots now we decided today when we came over a little earlier to have them fill the holes in so they fiberglassed them bondoed over um, to take care of the badges we're going to go back with something a little more modern there some kind of decal or some kind of three-dimensional badge um, moving on down this has come a long ways a couple more coats on that um, looking better all the way around that's looking a lot better we're getting close back here is looking solid where we were dinged in this has been the biggest transformation um, had a big old chop den up here where some of the um, I guess the ball hit should hit right here but we had some stuff that went along with the spare tire holes or something down here we filled that in so we ought to have a whole lot more cleaner look at this point uh, they found some dents in the door here boom boom took care of that this was your bad spot over here and then we had a big smash in dent here we did decide to go ahead and paint the hood too so i think another maybe a little bit more prep over here we ought to be ready for paint in just a day or two this is one of the last updates before we get into the paint booth here i'm gonna walk around they've done a couple more little things like they're detailing in you add a little bondo you sand down again you add a little bondo you sand down again we have some rough i think we showed this to you originally but some rough clear coat they're actually gonna go re-clear from here down um, let's come on around getting a little bit more fine on some of these dings now this little rash that we had up here he's actually sanded the whole hood down with thousand grit and then he's filled in all this rash and when you feel it it's slick to the uh, touch now slick. so that's going to look real nice when we wrap this thing or if we wrap this thing it's going to be super clean at this point the feel over here is looking a lot better um, everything's super tight at this point and then down here there's some extra little spots that they've picked up and filled in so like i think they're going above and beyond on the detail we're going to have i think we're putting this thing together probably nicer than we expected it to be detailed out these holes that we filled in just a little bit more um, so we're getting close I think they've got another like day and a half of prep and then we'll be into the paint booth I think the finished product's gonna be nice I'm gonna clean this thing up a little bit before we show it to them. It's a little dusty on the grill here. All right, quick disclaimer, it's not completely finished. They need to let the clear coat cure for two, three days. We may even let it cure a week before they start wet sanding, doing some polishing on it. So it's gonna even shine more than it does right now. It looks totally different than it did. And they ended up painting a lot more than they thought they would. It just got easy, they had enough paint. Sand this, sand that, go ahead and hit it with some more white. Go ahead and hit it with, I think they put four coats of clear on there. So it's a really thick clear at this point and they're gonna be able to really cut into that and get it really smooth. 
but I'll show you, uh, we're gonna walk all the way around it, but I'll show you what they didn't paint as we go around. So first off, they did not paint this piece right below the lower grill and headlight assembly. That has to be taken off. We may pop that off when we replace bumpers and take that over and let them match it up. They kept paint, like they actually tinted the paint that they bought to match closer to what we already have on the vehicle. Um, but there's just not much that didn't get painted. The whole hood got painted and Keep in mind guys, it's still, I mean, it looks great, but it's still got to have some of the imperfections wet sanded out of it. Had several dings on this front quarter, had a bunch of BB pops where you had like, you know, little chips out in it. Um, it just didn't look good. You had all this rash up here on the hood. Every bit of that rash is gone now. So as they get that wet sanded down, that's going to be clean. Uh, this up here did not get painted. To do that, you'd have to remove this fender, take all this out. Like you'd have to take a lot of stuff off. We're just gonna clean this up really good, polish it really good, get the colors close-ish. When we wrap this, we've realized we got a little issue here with all these holes. That's your heat extraction from the engine. It's also where your rain goes down and goes through. So we're gonna have to figure out, I mean, I know you can wrap that, but is it worth wrapping? Or are we gonna build some white into our wrap job where it kind of comes down and has some kind of crazy line? We'll figure that out. We did not paint the rain lip and the top. So they stopped short of that. There's a little bit of adhesive or something that goes in the middle there. So I would say in the future, if we have this thing long-term, one day we'll do a complete, you know, all the way out paint job where every little imperfection gets fixed up. This paint job took this for the next 10 years to where there's no spots rusting out. Everything looks great. We weren't planning on painting the A-pillar and the whole door. We told you guys, we were just talking about painting from here down. They just went ahead and did a pillar the whole top of the door and everything up here so like it looks way better at this point you can tell where we had our uh, dings down in here our clear coat was all jacked up it looks great now yep. this right here where we had the big i guess break in it and i guess a lot of you guys probably have that problem they were able to weld this piece in that looks amazing but where the old weld was in the door jam looked terrible and now clean as a whistle clean as a whistle and you saw in some of those other clips where they had to add a little bit more because the patch panel we had didn't go back far enough so they added a little bit extra welding and a little extra piece of metal in there and then obviously we just went ahead and hit this with some paint and a little bit of clear that looks way better we'll probably put a like a real tough grade of vinyl on there so that it doesn't scuff up as we get in and out just kind of keep it looking good so back here we had big old rust pops and then we had like a big gash here where it had, the bumper had gotten hit knocked up into that that rear man it looks clean as a whistle now they took the lights out to paint and the guys we didn't do like a six thousand dollar paint job where everything came off and everything got lined up and everything was perfect our purpose here was just to get this thing looking clean and straight so that when we wrap it we didn't wrap over a bunch of garbage and dings and it just looked like we covered up a bunch of junk. One of the biggest changes actually maybe back here on this tailgate, I mean, it was beat up pretty good. Had, you know, dents down here, dents up here, quite a few scuffs, it was split. This thing's looking sharp now. We've got to do something with this panel here and a lot of you guys run into that problem. Those get uh, pretty beat up. They uh, are hard to refinish the plastic reflector gets broke and to buy replacement parts is not cheap so we're kind of in a holding pattern on what we're going to do back here this back piece of glass right here is probably the next video in this series we've already got it here with seals and everything we're going to swap it out get rid of this pitted up glass all these dried out rubber seals are causing a lot of scratching and everything so we'll swap all this out with brand new right in here where we removed all of the tire carrier holes I mean, this is super clean now. Um, a lot of trucks, they're gonna have those and they start rusting real bad. But uh, we went ahead and deleted those. If you're not gonna carry the spare with an original tire carrier, maybe you got a different bumper that has its own tire carrier, any of that sort of thing, I highly recommend you go ahead and get these removed because it's just a spot for rust to start. What I wanna point out on this side, now that we got good direct light in, is we took the chrome beauty piece off here and painted and we obviously we're not going to put those back on this looks extremely clean if we do anything i think we'll probably get a new wheel that pokes out further we'll have to work on hubs and do all the supporting mods underneath but i could see having a 
a, a wider fender come out, something that would bolt on, and then have the wheel actually come out further too. I mean, because this Bronco's not wide enough yet. It needs to be three to six inches wider, get that Raptor look going on. We had door dings in this thing here. All that's gone now. Um, there's a little bit of stuff under the clear coat that's going to come out when they start doing their wet sanding. But like, same thing, guys, they came all the way up in here. When you get nice, fresh, clean paint on here, it's very apparent that all their old stuff looks like trash. Like this These looks like go. trash. It looks like complete garbage. And we showed you earlier, we've got all these pieces that we'll be able to replace with. Um, door handles need to be black, whether or not we scuff these up and hit them with some black or buy some new ones and hit them with black. It'll depend on what that costs because we're not trying to break the bank with this. Have you guys looked at prices for these lately? Unbelievable. Obviously we're working on one, so I'm trying to make sure we don't get more money in it than we would ever get out of it if we ever wanted to sell it. The more we work on it, the more I want to keep it. I think it'd be a great vehicle for my son to drive when he turns 16. Sam thinks I'm crazy because it's not got very many safety features. I don't know if I trust that 30 year old airbag. But these things are going through the roof right now. A good clean one will cost you 12 to 14 grand. And I would say this one's in the clean space at this point. Plus this has a ton of other things changed and mods on it. So I don't know. Everybody wants to argue about what stuff's worth, but these things are going up in value fast. It's just the last full size Bronco um, because people hate on the, the new one. The new one's awesome. It drives great, but this is the new classic. Moving on along up through here. You could tell I, if I look down it, this needs a little buffing, which is coming soon, but it doesn't have a big dent right here anymore, guys. I mean, overall, this Bronco is beautiful now, and it didn't break the bank because we didn't fix every single little thing. We fixed the things that matter. So if you're wanting to do something like this, look at spending at least two or three grand. If you've got multiple colors going on and stuff, you could spend more but it's not a $10,000 paint job, guys. So we're just getting started. We've got a lot of things we're still gonna do on this Bronco. It was gonna be a budget build. We just keep going and I don't know where we'll stop because I'm really falling in love with this OBS. I'll drop the entire build playlist right here in this end card over Sam's face. Check that out, guys, because by the time you're watching this one, we may have 20 videos out on this thing. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.